Serious crimes are defined by their impact, and they can have a really destabilizing effect on conflict-affected societies. They can make it very difficult for peace and security to take hold, and even more difficult for reform efforts, for example, political or economic reform, to take root. The success has really been a mixed bag. There have definitely been circumstances where there has been success. Laws have been passed, uh, certain criminal actions have been stifled, and that's been a very positive thing. At the same time, serious crimes are very, very difficult to eradicate. And that's because in many societies, especially those that have been engaged in violent conflict or where there's no justice and security system, they put down very deep roots. The goals of this book are very simple. It's to make us more effective in combating serious crimes. It's to learn what's worked, what are the tools, how do we look at the problem from different angles, and then how do we create strategies to be effective in combating serious crimes. The first edition came out in 2006. A whole lot has changed since then. There's new strains of serious crimes, and we've learned an awful lot. So the point of it is to include new tools in order to address these new challenges. The book is for those on the front lines of the fight against serious crimes, and that includes everybody from practitioners to policymakers to civil activists who are trying to figure out a role that they can play in perhaps working with the government or police and problem solving in a way to address those serious crimes. What I really like about the book is that it was designed to be very accessible. It was designed to be practical, to be in plain English, and that it is something that is not just a thick, dense book that would sit on the shelf. And what I also like about the book is the breadth. It was designed so that it would cover the entire spectrum of the criminal justice system, from law reform to institutional reform, to working with the military, to working with civil society. So even if somebody doesn't have experience in a particular area, there's enough information there that they can have a general understanding. 